Today we're going to try and straighten this knife out. Jersey Knife Guy sent me this, and as you can see, it's rubbing hard. It's hitting really hard on the liner on the one side. The knife is almost unusable the way it is. Now one of the things that I do found out that you have to watch when you straighten these knives out is right now you can see, let's see if I can line this up with the camera, because the camera adds distortion to it. The knife and the handle are pretty much dead straight on. So once we bend this so that it fits in the liner, sometimes when you look down the knife, you can see the blade off to the side a little bit. And when that happens, I think what they did originally is drill the, the hole for the pivot on an angle. So we're going to see if we can straighten this out. Okay, I can see the blade has to move that way, so we have to keep that in mind. has to be bent that way. So I'm going to flip it around like this and put it in the vise. I'm going to use this heavy 12 ounce piece of leather to protect the bolster. I found this is the best way to protect the knife. It also allows a little bit of flexibility because the bolsters aren't perfectly square. We're going to see if we can give this blade a little bit of tweak to one side. Start off with only a medium amount of pressure because we don't want to overdo it. And that didn't really do anything. So we're going to have to try a little bit harder. It'll just be a series of applying just a little bit more pressure than the last time. until we get it. It may have moved just a little bit. It doesn't seem like it's rubbing that liner, but it is still all the way off to one side. We're going to try and go just a little bit more. I'll try about the same level of pressure one more time. Every time I do this, I'm waiting for one of these blades to snap right in half. Okay, I think we gained just a little bit more on it. So I'm going to try it one more time. One of the things I learned as I'm doing this, I've done enough knives like this now, there's a, sometimes you just have to give up. It depends on how hard the steel is, and it depends on the type of steel, and it depends on how they heat treated it. Sometimes there's more, sometimes it's not heat treated so much down at the base where the pivot is, so there's a little bit of wiggle room to bend it. Sometimes the steel is really hard and it feels kind of brittle and it almost feels like it would break before it would bend, so. There's not a 100% success rate with doing this. So you kind of have to go easy and gradually apply more pressure and feel what you're doing and determine when, when it's time to stop. Okay, so we're getting there. It's very close. Let me check and see how straight the blade is. Blade still looks pretty straight. 
So we'll try, we'll try again. See if we can get it a little bit closer to centered. You know, and every knife doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It's okay if these things are a little bit off center. Sometimes, like I said, there's a, a fine line where you have to call it quits because if you go all the way to center, the blade may be on an angle when you extend it out of the knife. Each time this moves just a little bit more. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to call it good. Open and close this a few times. It's a little less snappy on the closing because there's probably a little bit more pressure squeezing these bolsters together than there was before because I've had it in the vise. So this may take a few times opening and closing it and a little bit of oil to get some of the snappiness back. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll get back with you. Okay, this is a lightweight gun oil it's what I have on hand it works just the same as any of your fancy knife lubricants it's just a little less precise in the application but I'm fine if I get a pretty big drop in there going to wiggle this back and forth a little bit not to try and bend the knife but just to loosen up the bolster a little bit where I tightened it with the vise That's the right amount of pressure that took out the blade wobble. Show you where we're at on centering. It's close. It's not quite perfect. Let me get in front of the camera on this thing so you get a little straighter on view. That's pretty accurate of how it is. It's slightly favoring that side over there. But that's pretty good in my book. Still has good snap on the opening. Not quite as good on the closing. In a little bit of time the knife will break back in after having this work done to it and as I look down the blade it still looks pretty straight maybe just ever so slightly as you come down as you come down the handle the blade ever so slightly leans that way just a little bit but it's okay it's not it's not something you would even notice unless you specifically were looking for it. So I'm going to consider this knife good. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. 
I'll just open and close it a little bit just to break it back in, get everything loosened back up after being tweaked. And as you can see with, with using the leather, I put no scratches on the knife. None on the bolsters and nothing on the wood. When I received the knife from Jersey, you could, you could see the pivot, so nothing there got tweaked again. So this is a pretty effective method. You know, use, use the vise, a 12 ounce piece of leather, and Nipix pliers that have the flat jaws. That's very important, the flat jaws, because if you have anything that has teeth on it, you're gonna tear up the blade. Because if you look, this time I didn't even put tape on it. And if you look at this blade, there's not a mark on this thing. So that's the trick. This is the best way I've found to straighten the blade out. You, know, you have to be a little bit brave to try this. It takes a lot of force. It takes more force than you would think and more that you'll feel comfortable applying. But nine times out of 10, that blade will move. You just have to determine, do you want it completely centered or do you want to leave it slightly off center just so you get it away from rubbing? And that's what I determined on this, on this knife. I'm not going to go for a perfect centering. I'm going to leave it slightly off. Otherwise, when you open the knife up, the blade will be leaning a little too much to one side. I'd like the blade and the handle to be straight. It should be dead on straight, you know, as possible. So this is all I can do with this, and I'll be sending this back to Jersey.